guys how do you do welcome to my show programming wizards for today we're going to talk about file picker with a uh, recyclable we're going to see how to pick images from our file system okay then of course show these particular images in our recyclable over here so so far our recyclable empty we come click our fab button then it opens for us our file picker right here you can see with the images over here now we come select the images that we'd love to show i'm going to select those five we click done right here you can see we are having our stuff right here you can see we are having our recyclable of course with uh, these particular images okay that we just picked what if i want to replace them no that's simple we simply come pick the images with which would uh, like to replace them with then we come click done right here then of course it replaces uh, them of course for us over here this is it guys this is what we're going to look at so join me we get started thing of course you have to create your project go ahead create your project here is my project then let's move over to our build.gradle the first thing that we're going to do over here no take note we're going to need a card rule remember okay so our uh, recycle of course is going to consist of cards so we come over right here make sure that we add this particular dependency for the card rule so please go ahead and then add it then of course we're going to be having right here another th two third party libraries these are third party libraries first one right here droid ninja file picker this one right here is going to give us the nice uh, uh, dialogue that you are seeing actually the second activity the file picker activity that you guys were seeing over right there so please make sure that you add it okay then of course picasso right here we know it is going to help us in loading our images synchronously do that one then please make sure that you add those ones this last two of course is going to require internet connection okay picasso and of course this file picker dialogue then you can click sync to sync our project okay once we've done that one the next thing that we're going to do we're going to move over to our resources so i'm going to have a simple image right here i'm going to call it presola image is the image that shall be showing while meanwhile we are loading our images from our file system then of course the next one right here we're going to have come to our content main.xml then we make sure that we add a recycler view we assign it an id then we create another layout this is going to be our model layout it's actually a layout for us it's just going to have one simple text view it's social in flat to represent a single view item in our recycler view so go ahead make sure that you add it okay and those are the layouts that we're going to need let's move on to our classes have our first two classes we're going to have under the m recycler package view holder as well as our adapter class then of course we're going to have our main activity and then our spacecraft spacecraft this is our project class going to represent a single spacecraft object now these are the properties our spacecraft is going to have the name and then of course the uri the image uri okay so what we're going to do we simply come right here and then generate their getters and setters set name we pass the name we assign it to this particular name get name we return that particular name does it our getters and setters over there hold a class this is the class that shall be responsible for holding our views uh, that shall be recycled now for us the first thing which are these views that we're going to hold well we're going to have a text view and then of course an image view okay then of course uh, right here we'll make sure that we derive from recycler view dot view holder then of course once we've done that one we have right here to generate our constructor take notes right here over the constructor we're passing in a view object we're calling an item view this particular item view right here we're going to use it to reference at uh, this particular views over here so let's go ahead i'm txt item view dot find view by id we pass in the id item view dot find view by id we pass in the image okay the id for our spacecraft for our image view that's it guys this is our my view holder class to come over right here and then jump over to our my adapter class this is the class that we're going to be inflating our layout and then also to bind our data now the first thing within this class we're going to need to pass in uh, two properties to this class first a context object as well as an array list of spacecraft this was the data right here that this is the, uh, going to act as a data source we're going to pass it 
via the constructor into this particular class but then the first thing of course we'll need to come over it here then make sure that we derive from our adapter okay recycler v dot adapter we're passing in our class my view holder then of course they want to get one over here we're going to come here and then override a couple of methods now on create view holder take note we're passing in the view group as well as an integer right here what we're going to do inside right here this is we're going to be initializing our view holder so first we simply uh inflate our r.r.model dot dot okay we inflate it then of course we assign it to a view object right here and this particular view object will pass to an instance of our my view holder that's what we do over right there on bind view holder this is where we're going to bind our data then of course get item count we return the total number of specifications you're going to have now the next thing of course we're going to go ahead remember we have to pass this particular data we said we were going to pass them via the constructor we do so then of course once we've done that one we're going to come right here to our own bind view holder first we need to get a single spacecraft so spacecrafts that get we pass in the position so once we have it now we can simply come while well, we want to bind our data name txt dot set text s dot get name and then s dot get uri take note we're loading our image asynchronously using picasso library so picasso dot with we pass in the context dot load s dot get uri this is going to give us our uri okay image uri we pass it over right there dot press holder press holder image you shall show meanwhile while we are loading our image dot into holder dot img okay that's it guys this is our uh, my adapter class to be our main activity the first thing we're going to write here have a recycler view we declare it and also we instantiate an array list that we're calling file paths this is the array that's going to hold our file paths okay yeah an array is going to have our file paths for our images now the moment we've done that one then we're going to come over right here inside our own create method we're going to first of all reference our recycler view casting the view object we're going to get to our recycler view then we come set our layout manager we're going to use the linear layout manager this is going to position our items in our recycler view actually in a fashion okay so that's it that's going to do for us the once we've done that one then take note right here when our fab button is clicked we want to open our file picker activity and then pick our images so what we're going to do to open it right here the first thing we're just making sure that we clear our file paths that is our array list then file picker builder dot get instance is going to give us our instance we set the maximum total of uh, images that are going to come over right here uh, that are going to be picking now we set it to five you can set it to any number okay so we're going to pick a maximum of five images set selected files we pass in our array list we set our activity theme we call the pick photo method passing in the context does it take note for doing this one when our floating action button is clicked this one right here is going to open for us our file picker activity okay now of course we're going to pick our images then once we've picked our images we'll need to pass those particular file paths or those particular images to uh yeah of course their file paths we'll need to pass their file paths back to our main activity to do that one we're going to go ahead and then override our own activity result is taking in a request code result code as well as an intent or that you are calling data so the first thing that we're going to do right here we're going to be switching through our request codes so we first come right here if um a request code is file picker concern dot request code if this is the case right here and of course our result code is okay and then of course our data is not equal to null if this is the case then the first thing that we're going to do we're going to populate our file parts array list so data dot get string array list extra our file picker constant dot key selected photos okay we pass their parts to our array list the parts of the selected photos then right here we're going to create a just initial uh, uh, declare our spacecraft object right here and then of course also instantiate an array list of spacecraft that we're going to have then in a try catch block what are you going to do well we're going to be looping through our file paths we have our file paths right here we shall be looping them through them and then for each particular iteration we're going to be instantiating our spacecraft object right here then we come we set the name 
how do we get the name well we're going to extract the name from a path now remember this is a file path uh, from our SD card we are simply going to extract right here the name okay using the substring method right here then of course we come set our URI so as the set URI now how are you going to get our URI well for each particular iteration the first thing that we're going to do we're going to instantiate our file okay our java.io.file we instantiate it then of course we pass in the path of that parts of, of that particular file now this is going to give us a file object then of course you will call the from file method of our URI class java array from file we pass in the file method right here this is going to give us the URI of that particular file we set it over to our spacecraft right here using the set URI method then spacecraft.add we add s we add our spacecraft object does it guys remember we're doing this one for each particular iteration then of course we come set our adapter to a recycler view set adapter we instantiate our my adapter we pass in the context we pass in our spacecraft then of course we're simply going to show a simple toast right here so does it guys this is going to do for us this is going to be uh, this is what we're going to do okay in fact we are through let's uh, go ahead and then run take note we're using a file picker dialog we really don't need to add any permission we don't have to add any permission to your uh, manifest okay so that's it what we're going to do let's run our project and have a look at what we have see what we have this is what we're getting we come simply come to our fab button okay click it here it brings for us our dialog i mean uh, our nice file pick activity right here we select the images that we'd love to show right here you can see we have uh, those particular four images getting shown over here if you do want to replace them we can simply click off our button okay then of course it's going to open for us our file pick activity so in this case we simply come maybe let's say that i want to replace them with these three click done and then you can see right here our images of course are getting loaded using picasso library this is it guys hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial if you have hit the like button share it and also subscribe this take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial